hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Power episode with Inferno the Fox on a GTA 5 trying to get back onto a road when a well placed people carrier would leave the panto doing a pretty much perfect roll. Lands can carry on like nothing has ever. You couldn't time that one better if you tried. Speaking of uh, good timing, Cobra Bright 17 on a GTA 5 is trying to get away from the police. Kind of stuck in a storm drain up against the wall. Police car tries to block him. Can't quite. It's a very another very, very impressive flip. Another police car actually manages to get within millimetres of squishing him against the wall. And that is some uh, some Tony Hawk style stunts going on right there. Spartan Marine on Forza Horizon 3 is trying to get a bonus board with a rather large truck. Uh, we've seen this go poorly for a Gurkha in a uh, different garage. This one, <laughs> the Ram, has managed to get himself stuck inside the sort of carport area and uh, somehow turned it. He's very, very wedged. <laughs> that dodge is uh, not going to be getting out of there any time soon. Nuclear Donut on Horizon 3 Hot Wheels is, uh, well, heading up towards a corner. Doesn't realise as he turns to make this that a Warthog drives straight towards his face and the Sylvia would also add insult. Well, I say insult to injury. The Sylvia ended up stuck on its roof and the Bone Shaker, I guess, comes off a little bit better than, better than that. Not necessarily the sight you want to see when you... Uh, <laughs> turn around a corner. Hordes on Forza Motorsport. Six is going up towards the finish line of a race. Trying to outdrag another mini. Not quite going to be able to do that. As they cross the finish line though, the green car decides to go for a celebratory roll. That's driver tar control, right? There's no idea what causes. It looks like he's got one of the, uh, like the stunt rams that go out the bottom of the car to make it flip for a movie. That's what it looks like he's got going on uh, underneath that one. The impressive flip, nevertheless. Schnitzel for the win on Need for Speed. Most wanted is minding his business when uh, a police car coming out of a side junction absolutely annihilates the Clio V6, although I think the police car does come off a little bit worse in all of that. It is a very, very spectacular crash in uh, super slow motion. We've got a couple of rolls, or uh, three rolls, in fact, for the clear, but look how the police car goes. It just tumbles and tumbles and tumbles. Unfortunately, the camera quite difficult to show what's going on. Tumbles and tumbles, smacks a building. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big crash. It's a big old T-bone from that uh, police car. Slideways on flat out ultimate carnage going for the uh, ultimate aerial takedowns. And he's managed to plow into parked taxis in the background, but as he comes across a bump, there's just a bump in the road, just tags the back of the car ahead that turns it round and launches it into the air. An impressive, impressive aerial takeout indeed. Our Nolan on Dirt 4 racing at uh, Sweden, a notorious place. When things go wrong, they tend to go pretty badly wrong at Sweden. Very, very high speed stuff suddenly into a very tight corner doesn't quite get the car slowed down enough clips the bank and goes for a roll sure enough amazingly of all the possible outcomes for a crash at sweden manages to roll and land pointing the right direction neo neon ufo on a beam ng drive is managing to do a rather impressive no stand all the way down the road. I mean, crashing cars in beam is one thing, but uh, the, the way that this Moonhawk manages to skid along the road for such a large amount of time, I mean, the way that the kind of body and so on is crumpled at the front, it's just perfectly positioned for the vehicle to skid all the way along its nose. It eventually runs out of momentum and uh, rolls down a hill. Cole yoked on uh, R Factor with some LMP cars already misbehaving at this uh, Adelaide circuit, but things get even worse for his Audi as it gets uh, kind of gets stuck underneath a or on top, sorry, of a Mazda. The Mazda uh, doing some weird things to the Audi. The Audi then gets launched to the moon. Uh, physics gets a little bit unhappy, resets the car, but it resets it just by dropping it down from a great height. And that is a very, very broken vehicle. Examine Shark 3 on a Just Cause 3 is racing a very uh, impressive looking powerboat, this one. It certainly looks very sporty, very quick indeed. However, look out for underwater ruins as they will make a mess of your run. It's an impressive front flip for the boat and it can carry on without too many problems, but... Uh, yeah, it turns out those 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 nasty ruins can cause some issues for your uh, for your boat. On to uh, just cause two next with a plane that really doesn't want to be boarded. <laughs> That's some distance. That is some distance. Uh, the player was by the well, by the by the runway by the symbol to the uh, to the left. That is a big fire across the map. 
Yeah, that plane was determined not to be uh, taken off. A cataclysmic enforcer of the Grand Prix. I'm not sure if it's an AI car that's uh, broken down. Whatever it is, it actually crashes so hard, the game really struggles to figure it out as you see the car come tumbling across the road. It just completely disintegrates. Like the safety cell of the car pings clear and uh, causes an awful lot of chaos. Yeah, the uh, the vehicle not in, a, <laughs> not in a good state there as it comes and takes out most of the field. Uh, Virus GR42 on iRacing with... Uh, and uh, IndyCar that has had enough. He's bored of racing at Charlotte, and we're off straight towards the moon. It's just gone. It goes out of the skybox, I think, in uh, <laughs> all of that. It, yeah, it's just, it's just had enough. I don't even know. I mean, I've, I've raced at Charlotte a fair few times. I've crashed a fair few times here, but uh, never have I quite done that one. That's 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 long, long gone into the into the sky, and it could well still be accelerating upwards, uh, if it hadn't been for the fact that the guy racing tends to reset the cars. That though is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit, you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Fair Race Clip Submission section, and there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time. Uh, goodbye.